in Europe any day now. All right, should I do it now? Yes. All right, I'm gonna announce kicking Burgundy. Welcome back to the Bavaria series, everyone. In the last episode, we fought the Great War, and while not as grand a conflict as the one of parts 17 and 18, the Danubian Confederation, Italy, Spain, and some Arcadian reinforcements held the line against a combined attack from the Elbian Confederation, India, Poland, Lithuania, and the Ottomans. We also had Russia on our side fighting on an eastern front against Poland, Lithuania, and China, all in the same war. The unexpected reason for our victory was a classic Victoria II sphere of influence economic factor. While this great war was raging on, the highly anticipated ADF, Asian Defeat Force, took aim at the soft, vulnerable outer shell of the Asian hugbox in Japan. The rest of the hugbox couldn't help him if they wanted to. The ADF carried out an effective naval operation, invaded the home islands and have now started annexing the home islands, as well as some overseas territory. Over the course of a few wars, the big Asian hog box, which had been building up for the whole campaign as the huge, unstoppable adversary, has turned out to be a complete flop. Unlike Asia, back in Europe, the diplomacy is interesting and ever-changing. As the dust settles from the Great War, there's another bitter conflict that needs to be resolved. The dual monarchy versus Burgundy. In the Great War, the Burgundian border was one of the few borders of my country that I didn't have to worry about. Why? Because I made a deal with him. If I don't call the dual monarchy into the Great War, and I don't commit to defending him, Burgundy won't join the Great War either, and he'll transfer me Palatinate and the Rhineland, which are obviously very important German corps that I need. This is actually a Scandinavian-led deal because he wants to carry out a partition of the dual monarchy so that England is never threatened again. As long as the DM continues in some capacity and he has corps over England, it's never really safe. However, this simple Burgundian, English and Scandinavian attack on the dual monarchy isn't going to work out that way. Italy and Spain, who were on my side in the Great War which has now ended, want to take down Scandinavia as the dominant world power. Among other reasons, they're very resentful about the scramble for Africa, where Scandinavia just took everything he could without leaving them much or making any concessions. He also blocked Spain from connected ports. This Mediterranean alliance, which goes all the way back to the start of the game when Aragon was their rival, doesn't really have the naval power to rival Scandinavia yet. But this is an opportunity to put a check on his world power on the European continent and build up the dual monarchy while doing so, which is an affront to Scandinavia and England. If you've been wondering if Spain would ever make a big move that was in his interest ever since Aragon was defeated, this is it. He's been a bit lost ever since the days of the Gentleman's War, no real existential enemies to go after, simply unable to rival Scandinavia because of literacy and tech, but now we're getting into the late game where Spain can shine. So this is a very interesting diplomatic situation, and it's going to be a good war for me to sit back and watch and wait for a transfer afterwards. It's great to see the European diplomacy shifting and new blocks forming, while the Asian hug box completely flops as a threat to the world. In fact, you could say the world is healing. Alright, now I've got a couple of extra things to talk about in this intro. First of all, YouTube channel memberships are back on the menu. They've been there for a very long time, but I haven't highlighted them as much as I was streaming on Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel. Those emotes are not just for streams, you can use them in my video comments. But now there's the entire situation of me being suspended from Twitch wrongly and ludicrously, so I've moved back to fully streaming on YouTube. If you want to know more about that situation, I did a stream going into it in great detail, and there's a little community post you can read about it in the description. Yes, you're reading that right, I got suspended for two weeks from the 10th of March 2024, for a random clip that I had lying around about an old campaign from about three years ago. The Twitch admins who took personal offence to a meme about people who form American hug boxes in DoD must have thought, we need to get him for this, but now is not the right time. Anyway, the Twitch thing is stupid and ridiculous, but I took it and turned it into something extremely positive. My first Victoria 2 multiplayer stream for a while and my first back on YouTube was a massive success, 
achieving the highest peak viewer count I've ever had on a Victoria 2 stream, 1,300. I changed my approach to streaming to focus more on the game, I added a couple of innovations to the stream, which has all made it a lot better to watch. As of right now, this is a campaign going on on Sundays. If you're watching this video right after it came out, session 2 is happening this Sunday, so I'd like to see even more of you there, and for future sessions. These streams, in the same way my old Twitch streams did, all get uploaded to the Spudgun archives as VODs after they're done. Unfortunately, I've spent every past episode of this series and loads of other series telling you to go and follow me on Twitch. Don't do that now. Just look out for my streams right here on YouTube. I'll inform you of the next upcoming streams on my Discord, on Twitter or X, and in community posts here. Above all, I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me through this time. For example, the many new and old channel members. Join them today. This Twitch situation might have been annoying, but at least I'm not burgundy in this campaign. Enjoy the video. Call allies me, Duck. Alright, should I do it now? Yes. Ducking burgundy. Woo! <sighs> Alright, go in. Full siege, everything is not defending. I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna try to hit us. This is going to be a loser W, I feel it. Oh, they're attacking. Uh, um, where? Oh, oh shit, they launched a big attack everywhere. Okay. Just reinforce, I told you not to get caught in the I mean, we're defending, so... You can encircle them! If you can hit we? Leo, if you hit Leo... Leo? Yeah, but they've got 75k in the back. I don't no, know no, that's true, that's true. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Uh, well, oh, two nights open, two nights open. Go into two nights, go into split your stack. Yeah, they're us, though, dude. They're just gonna attack. They're gonna attack for fucking Namur. You can still kill all the troops in Arras if you hit uh, Leo. Mm -hmm. Hit Charleroi as well, and then you've yeah. got something on your hands. No, hit Leo, hit Leo, hit right now. Hit Leo oh, now before they retreat. Oh my god. And they're, they're gonna retreat. They're gonna block it because they're attacking Cambrai. <laughs> you say whoops like that wasn't entirely your fault. Yeah, it we was told my fault. you. Whoops. <laughs> Man, I'm a noob. This is my second war. I know, but we told you what to do. It's that Good. simple. Good. I uh, I couldn't see the province. I thought it was the wrong one. It's fine. Just, we're, we're still winning the battles. No Normandy, Normandy. They got oh, their landing troops. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Uh, Normandy? Both battles, both both northern battles, pull out. You actually didn't need to do both. Dude, I still find it hilarious we wiped half of India's professional army. Spokane, are you getting Great War reps? No, I'm not, no. Oh, huh, not. Wait, no, I am actually getting war reps. I am getting great war reps. That's why I have 6 million right now. Um, that's why I'm making 17k a day. Uh, DM, uh, reinforce Can I get rocks. some of that money? Of course. Request a grant. Oh! Kind of rebel. Uh, Spain, can you pull out your 3 attack? Oh, I have a 4 fuck? attack in there. These rebels. In the, oh, uh, in the Does anyone want money? I'll take money. I'll take some money. Request a grant. Alright. Want some of this Chinese money? Does Spain have a navy yet? I have 15 cruisers and I'm building oh, up to 50 right now. I could have gotten a navy faster than you and I only have one port in the fucking Caribbean. I'm joking. Ask. All right, uh, Spain, can you help me? I'm gonna try a battle in Mets. I think you know. that attack is a good idea. I'm glad you think so. No one asked. <laughs> so true. He's, he's playing the moral support role. <laughs> Well, then, how's the next round of diplomacy oh. with people that'll just end up not going through? Those going? Guys I'm not gonna talk to them ever again. My only communication with them will just be winning wars against them. 
Yeah, Hunter on a <laughs> Holy shit, Slovakia is Polish as fuck. Yeah, he turned him into Polak. It's a fucking fate worse than death. Who's not number one champion? India. Probably India still, even though he lost half his fucking army. And a great war. Separate uh, surrender. Loses half well. his army. <laughs> yeah, they have no artillery in that Mets battle. What has what yeah. England done in this game, honestly? Your mom. I he formed England and then fought this war. That's it. We're gonna try. Oh, we're gonna try. Oh, he, he helped. He helped gank Japan. Japan. True. True. He owns Taiwan. Now. It's hard to tell who's taking anything in that fucking Asian war. Taiwan is the same color as Japan, and fucking uh, <laughs> Kyushu is the same color as China. Have people <laughs> congratulate that Wilson. True. This is so based. Hainan is the same color as fucking New Sinatra. <laughs> Uh, DM, send those troops uh, from Nancy to Matt. Listen, I got the plus 25. Your sphere is coming up very soon, sir. Amazing. Unfortunately, uh, Lizard's about to go back to GP. Yeah. No, I cannot. <laughs> can, you, can you ascend in a war? I know you can't descend. I don't think so. Yeah. So. Your sphere, sir. Yeah, follow up to Leo and Calais. Or just I, uh, Spain, Lille. I can tell they're sending like everything they can into Metz. I'm gonna... I Because I still have reserves and you still have plenty. Once I get them sent up, we're going to attack. Attack Luxembourg, I'm, I'm heading our line, do it. No commander moment. Oh nice, he's got no commander Oh, there's no Luxembourg. commander in that Luxembourg battle. Woo! Yeah, we're crushing him. Okay, here's the sphere. <gasps> no, 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 I'm getting dead on! Oh my god, it's over! They consented. Oh, we oh. just won Mets. Follow up, follow up, Saibuken, Saibuken. Oh, we're crushing them in the forest too, what the? Well, this one. Yeah, because they had no commander and they don't have anything to reinforce with. Just keep cycling these other battles. We just want Arlan too. Alright, we're gonna hold these for us, okay? I'm gonna start justifying my transfer on Burgundy. <laughs> too. Get, get it while it's. Oh, I just became yeah, a GP. Uh, we'll follow up to uh, Trier, right? Oh, what? Yeah. For fuck's sake! I'm still gonna shit too. Now we have a truce. Oh, that was a full stack way. Fall Trier? They're yeah, we're completely out of reserves at this point. Sorry, but your future props are getting massacred right now. That's amazing. That's okay. That's fine. Hey, I won the Olympics. The Special Olympics. Follow up to Iceland. Alright, we won in Canberra. One, uh, follow up. No, just, just stay in Canberra. Just, just, just defend it. And we're gonna win the other one too. Alright, yeah. right. this one. I say I we, we follow up this one. Follow up to Leo. Follow up, follow up. Damn, look at that 152k. Should I attack it now? I could. Wait till uh, Leo is won before we attempt that, so we have a land ret retreat. Okay, where they you could hit Tornai, because it looks like they have a lot of reinforcing troops. He that came by and I'll hit Shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was an easy oh, one. Um, Way easier than I thought. Yeah, I thought this was going to be really fucking intense, but. Spa? All right, hitting Spa. I'm more slaughtering him. Oh, you're doing a transfer on Dragon? That's. I saw he was losing the war, so I'm just going to get my transfer on the Rhineland by staying out of it nice and early. I'm going to time it so I deck my transfer in Burgundy immediately when they peace out. Can I have some of that Chinese gold? Of course, just request a grant. Thank you. My fellow great power. You guys yes. think we can win this in 15 minutes? I gotta go help carry some shit. I'm going to carry some shit when the next truce is up. In before Burgundy set up. Alright, England's going to delete that step. Wait, he just he just multi prog retreated at the way. They behind the lines, just kill him. Uh, he just did. Uh, what about this one? Scandy, England, and Burgundy. They could have done better. They could have, but they didn't. So uh, I, guess. I mean, they left a lot of their armies in Japan. They should have won that on no, that, that happened in Japan. <laughs> Wait, why try to take... Oh, oh look at that. Just got there before he it did. It does Burgundian. <laughs> uh, DM, move some troops up to Luanduren so they can't move forward. Actually, what the fuck? Scandy has most of his army. Where are those 0.2k going, Scandy? <laughs> oh, they just got a reinforced tick, finally. That's fine. Scandy's not using his own army. Damn, we fucking annihilated them. That's the entire Burgundian army. Oh, oh, here they come. Terms, terms. We're taking colonies what, and the mainland. Burgundy surrenders, let us get a hundred on them. And uh, the other Spanish in Italy, you guys discuss what you want. You want colonies off of Scandi. Uh, no! Let me see this, let me see Okay, this. we'll sit on him, fine. Okay. You know, okay. this is like the retarded server with separate surrender rules. We have naval dominance, like, I don't see how yeah. you can just fight. Like, we have naval... Yeah, dude. In terms of we want to like, a few states off of Burgundy. We're taking colonies. 
Fuck that. We, we want some Burgundy. I, I want Burgundy I'm and shit. I'm gonna give some stuff to Spain off the Mauritian coast. Yeah, I, Spain I want, like, colonies. I'll, I'll let them have three colonies. Inner Mauritania, Mauritian coast, and like Terra de Ora. I don't want anything uh, going towards the mainland. I want I want Bornu too. Bornu? Bornu. 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 It's worth basically Bornu. nothing to you. Is that all? That, that and the Spain shit. And the states off of Berg, but yeah. We just I want Brabant. Spain, are you fine with just four colonies? Three of them are yours? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, let's do states off of Burgundy and four colonies. Actually, I can't take Lorraine because I would enclave yeah, sure. Comte. Yeah. I'm yeah. fine with that. Losers! Losers! Rip off! We paid for blood! Let's tear this place apart! Good idea! What was the plan here? Did you think you the were gonna like. The plan originally was for Burgundy to deck on DM after we got our armies back in uh, Europe, but then after that it was just Burgundy dying. And yeah. Burgundy was using his attack generals and, um, oh, in defensive sorry. battles. Huh. We were trying to attack right. and. So you, you guys added Pas de Calais and Lorraine? Did you have so many colonies? Yeah. Uh, stalemate timer for the Burgundian. Someone play the nerd video. <laughs> okay, no. Has the war been surrendered yet? They were working out terms. Okay. I took off French comped, and that gets to 96, okay? Burgundy can still win this. Here's how Burgundy can still Here's win. Here's how Burgundy can still win. Uh... Did I take the Burgundian and Atlantic like Islands for okay, three cool. wars for? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, actually, take that. Atlantic Islands. Yeah, someone else can take islands. some of the island states if you if they want. I'm sending the piece to DM. That can transfer her in Burgundy immediately. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Did, did you, did yes, you check that it? That is a very nice uh, border, in my opinion. France, France I'm keeping it's this. Pleasure, like, gentlemen. Oh, let's uh, go. I was very quick with the transfer, that's all. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, about that transfer, I wasn't expecting to lose. No, this. You come on, uh, Chrono, you have to do this. No, he's doing it anyways. It's either a Fucking... real war. Or you die. Anyway. It's either that or I escalate this to a real war in Burgundy, you know. You have zero troops. <laughs> you have 32. You have 32. <laughs> you if I escalate uh, to a real war, at least there's a chance. Come on, man. There isn't. <laughs> You'll just be a big <laughs> Netherlands. The You'll be a big Netherlands, uh, it'll be okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, big Netherlands. I mean, Connor, if you break the this deal, deal, did not say whether you won or lose the war. Yeah. I have altered the deal. Pray I do not. Can alter you be the, the first deal. person to uh, go with a deal that I've made in this campaign? <laughs> Put it this way, Burgundy. If you lose, I'm, this, well, which you will, I'm taking piece. more. This I wouldn't actually piece. mind if you escalated it. I'll take more. Just are you taking the Rhineland as well, Spudman, or just Latinate and Rhineland? There. Oh my fucking god. That was the deal he made. I hate and I this. agreed to. I hate this so much. Yes, Rasmus, you have to run us, run us, run us. Okay, DM. Can I get the okay, Netherlands? Uh, so, I didn't see the rip, but apparently. <laughs> oh, Batavia. Okay, we'll oh, oh, Batavia is being a big boy like. now. Is Batavia decking on Burgundy? Do it. Yeah, a transfer for the Netherlands. Oh, I, can... I don't think that was a deal that was made. Lizard, I can understand, now, but why? Let's Spain? be honest. Why Spain? Because because he wanted to fight Scandi because he's cucking his coastline. The Lorraine region or whatever it is, it looks like a nose. It looks like a fucking nose. <laughs> the lake is a, a nostril. Spain, I know you're in here. I did it to fight Scandi for colonies. <laughs> I forgot Spain was in it. It makes sense for Spain to take colonies because he's connected to it anyway. I mean, yeah, but that makes perfect sense. No, that's reasonable. I think. It makes sense, it doesn't mean I like it. Yeah. Come on, Chrono, right. give me give, give me the Chrono. Netherlands. Chrono, you just have to have an epic comeback like last time. Yeah, Chrono, Again. Again. just change countries. I mean, look, you did the Diplo to keep me out of the war and you had your chance. And you did some skill issues there, I think. That's a sad looking version. Well, thank you for the help, uh, Italy and Spain. That actually is my uh, first ever war I've declared on my own in this game. So. Big boy. <laughs>
No, I'm, I'm proud of Diam. He played. He played that well. He cycled. He was actually aggressive when he needed to be. He took some initiative, but he still listened to instructions. All right. Yeah. He was better. Come, he can do this well. Most but Loco, community. after how many years of playing the game, still sucked. <laughs> yeah, that was about the same. Because it's Loco, Loco. Game, Green Forest. If he even shows up. That war was crazy. How My country quickly that is just so ended. Beautiful. And it looked it looked so stacked in their favor, and then they just died again. It is beautiful, lizard. You're just Italy with a with a giant nose on top. Well, you know. We have proved the Scandinavian giant is not invincible. We've proved that Burgundy is once again a complete loser. Derby After losing race. another war and giving away two regions through a transfer, Burgundy is tonight's biggest loser. I want to open the war analyzer and look at that. This guy's better than people have been playing for years. Bud, you've been playing for years and you don't know election events? <laughs> yeah, good. Oh. Ooh, National Banking Act. What does that do? Look, the people who are questioning that... Spud, <laughs> Spud as soon as I got that nose on my country, I can take the National <laughs> Bank. Sandy <laughs> want name <laughs> actually, I don't know. What do you mean by that, Legend? I got more land from joining Russia, from Russia, and if I was allied with China, India. This is a complete win. So true. So true. <laughs> so Increase true. my accept the pop by 30%. Guys, I just want to point out that at one point in the session today, I had more money in my own account than the entire game had 20 years ago. So true, Weevil. So true. How is Grand Colombia producing that much steel? What, what's Grand Colombia been smoking? <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Next question. He's got a lot of iron provinces. Where's his pop? Where's the Incas. Has he been getting steady immigration? Yeah. Has he been getting his pops? Oh, those pops, man. Oh, those pops. Will well, we see a spud gun pop. Germany? World may never I think know. we will. Oh, yeah, you only need like some stuff of Albion. These states cost a lot, even with fucking, even with a great war and a unification CB. Not including Pomerania, he needs uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Wait, oh. Spugon, can't you just add him to your sphere? Oh, wait, oh. do that. Do it. I'll help you. I have a truce now, so just when the truce ends. You won't gain oh, wait, any- I don't think you'll inherit him. I think he'll become Let me just look at the form. decision. You should probably look at the decision, yeah. But it'll be the first to form Germany legit. It could be a sphere or a puppet. I should puppet him because he could like break out a sphere instantly or, or something. Uh, he could, it is also possible to break out. Yeah, but you won't gain any territory. I will- I will sphere him in the next war. Normalize never forgiving. Normalize never forgetting. Do you really have a fleet, Spud? I've got three transports. Those are, the, those are the ghosts of um, Munich. The three transports are in fact my naval <laughs> limit of three. <laughs> All these wars and no coastline. I mean, I'm not researching anything right now, so I might as well get naval tech. Fuck it. Get that port, baby. I'll upgrade that one port and build like a battleship. You seem very enthused about him getting a port. He will take it from me in a war. Actually, terrain uh, is also the a navy. Finally, state the northern cock. The, the northern the what? what? <laughs> the northern cock is this. Fuck, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this nose. Just like keeping. Are this. you actually keep? Are you not transferring that to dual monarchy? <laughs> I'm gonna keep my okay? Luca. You're He's keeping your nose. It's got, it's got <laughs> coal for use, which you kind of need. So. He's keeping his nose. Not a bad thing to. Have. I mean, it's not. Oh, it is coal. Italy actually has a good amount of coal provinces in this one. Oh yeah, my my island has like nearly 400k pops. <gasps> Those pops, man. And it gave me a baby <laughs> boom once. Yeah, once you get once you get like a single. Right before the Great War, stated and you'll mobilize there. No, I'm not stating it. I'll lose all my baby boom chance. True. They don't get political rights. Will I get another baby boom in this game? I'm building fertilizer factories in the Albions. Five. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest troll. Wait, I want to do it too. Hang on. Oh, he does, he does the max out so easy. I'm going to give him some synthetic guy works. That's very Actually, useful. Kind of Argios, this <laughs> I need to get a fart sound effect on the soundboard. <laughs> the fart reverb. <laughs> I'm going to build all three types of fabric factories. In <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, boy, all I the fabric. The 5K subsidies. All the fabric factories. Wool, textile, <laughs> industrial. <laughs> it's going to be sick. First thing about Let's get him to nationalize so I can deck on him. 
<laughs> For a puppet CB, no less. <laughs> I would not would puppet him, fucking. <laughs> Look at Batavius just flying on Burgundy. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I told him. To, I told him to go in. The fertilizer factories are actually opened. What is the point of having a Batavia? Uh, point me to one thing they've done that has contributed to the game, other than within <laughs> like 40 minutes of rehosting. Save for gas. Save for gas. Save for gas. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's fighting. If Batavia actually attacks Burgundy and does this, I can respect him. Didn't Scandi even just give like two know. states to Batavia? Is Scandi joining against Burgundy? Crazy. Anyways, what are they doing? Are they gonna do something? Anything? Are they doing anything? Oh, oh, Batavian conquest of Holland based. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Sandra joined. Scandi did join against him. <laughs> Everyone type based. Nunu Sinatra joined against uh so called free thinkers with uh, uh, the type base. Oh well, that's the end of Burgundy, I guess. Well it's about fucking time. And they've done a big landing up in the north of the Netherlands and they have already secured three provinces to cycle in here. I mean does he have an army? Because... Oh, that's no commander. That's a skill issue. He's done. It's over. Oh, he does have an army. Oh, Hopefully the steel subsidies will uh, go down since the world gets a new railroad tech. Wait, Scandi declared on Burgundy? Why? <laughs> For the culture. Are they allied with Batavia? For Batavia. Yeah, yes. they're sphered. They're not landing more shit. Hmm. I can build railroads in Burgundy. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. You can also build fertilizer. Wait, wait, I'm gonna build fertilizer factory. Very interesting move. He's getting stack wiped. Jesus. Oh my god. Anybody right stack wipe. What's the next step of his master plan? Ooh, shit. This has failed. The mighty We're Scandinavians are taking two hours back to back. Tell them to go, dude. Batavians are getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> get out. Quick, get out. Get out of here. This is not a speed one war anymore. I can tell you that. England Wait, will be reclaimed. Yes, it will be. Once Spain gets his navy, it's over. Spain's gonna redeem himself. If are not having a navy the whole game, he's just gonna kick Spain his ass. From the depths of the channel, the Spanish Armada will be resurrected. Oh, yeah, gonna... Is there a truce? No, oh, the truce is up in 1900. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna be attempting to sphere at the Albions before I do anything else. Oh shit, I would also have to have Pomeranian Holstein at that time. Hmm. I don't think you can break out of a sphere when someone has a truce with you. Yeah, but I have to have a truce gone to sphere him. True. Can you like ban the embassy of the Chinese and stuff, even if you can't sphere? Uh, no, I can't put any points in. India is also friendly 100. I don't think you'll be able to win the conventional. The only way is to th if they don't notice. And the way they've been going this game, I mean, fuck, they probably might not notice. <laughs> that I mean, might be yeah, their if fingers. You're, if you get a bunch of people on, then you can probably do it. Hey guys, our same mega alliance lost two wars in a row. What should we do? Keep the same alliance. Oh, really? You know, I'm not going to bother talking to them or anything. Next war happens, I'm just decking on them and calling everyone in. Yeah. All of you. All the people who are on the side. Sounds Even Serenia? Damn. Depending on that situation, I'd love to have Russia in again against Poland, obviously, and get, get you some more land. I was hoping for a separate war. If you deck on Poland, maybe the Albians won't join that? Deck on war, and then we can deck around. Maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna launch another attack. Oh, it looks like Burgundy's uh, now gonna lose. No. Dude, why the fuck are the Chinese no, in Bohemia? Yeah, they're winning. Chinese are gonna fight still? The Burgundians are, in fact... Winning even yeah, harder. Winning. Yeah. Never Chinese out. <laughs> oh wait a second! I got those. Uh, I got the battles mixed up. He just know. doesn't have enough transports. He should be having like 300 transports, putting his whole army on there if he wants to do this seriously. This is good though. He should be in Amsterdam right now, occupying it. There's no fucking fort in Amsterdam. He could occupy that lightning fast. Japan has uh, no forts. Oh shit! I can mobilize 300. Now. This bodes well for our future efforts. This bodes well. So does anyone have cash to spare? Yes, request a grant. I need a lot of money to build my level 5 ports. Go ahead.
What these idiots need to do, they need to land in Bruges and Dunkirk. Fight a battle in Bruges while they occupy Dunkirk, then they can land in quickly in a future battle. They don't have the collective brain cells. Does anybody know why Ben actually dipped? Because he was he losing. sucks at the game, I don't know. I don't know. However, what Burgundy can do is just sit on every one of his provinces and then they can't land on him the whole game. How about in Ronald Reagansburg? Mr. Elvians, tear down this hug box. The Chinese are currently running out of his country, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Granted, it's not Green Force himself to sub, but like maybe they finally realized uh, it's just not worth it. Perhaps that would be the nope. day. Japan, I'm doing it. Uh -oh. <laughs> maybe China will be my problem in the near future. Are they doing a base move? What is going? Uh, no, they're gonna do a transfer. Guys, I'm gonna transfer you a uh, Manchuria. <laughs> Japan, I'm doing it. I'm moving my troops back. They're gonna do a big transfer <laughs> war. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna put my whole army inside of you. I'm gonna get it encircled. They're gonna do a transfer great war. <laughs> that that's what happened to Tarania, dude. They had the transfer great war. They lost half their country. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello. I cry Hello. now. Very impressive in this war, Chrono. I'm glad you beat Andy. I mean, their moves to invade you were absolutely fucking pathetic. How do you like a border? Yeah, I, I don't know what they were expecting. I support your efforts, Burgundy. Kill them all. Yes, thank you. I hope that 80k buys you more guns. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what, what does China mean by this? <laughs> Was that... Who, who left? All oh, left. <laughs> rage quit! Rage quit! Moment! I mean, it looks like one. Yeah, except zombies not going it. I'm scared. <laughs> You're gonna get balanced. Zombie jump scare? <laughs> is, that what, is that the sound koalas make? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty similar to it, actually. That's kind of disgusting. Uh, yes, yeah, Kona, we all know Don't they eat their own <laughs> shit and have smooth brains? <laughs> Koalas are kind of disgusting. A surprising amount of animals eat their own shit. <laughs> yeah. Like the enemy alliance. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. Like China. <laughs> oh, Batavia's mobilizing. He has to mobilize. It's over, it's, it's, it's over. over. It's literally over. Yeah, Nusen Tar is actually doing some funny stuff down in Batavia, but... Oh, he's invaded- Oh, right, he's <laughs> he invaded him. <laughs> <laughs> How many times has he invaded him over like the past 50 years? <laughs> so Seeing the amount of Scandinavians there though, I think it's over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's yeah. gonna escape. <laughs> My one colony got model colony. It's almost January, make sure to click oh. gas as fast as humanly possible. <laughs> Neuron activation. Oh. Neuron activation. <laughs> gas is landed. Researching mm, gas attack. Yeah. Four for me. Oh. You know, Mine is going to be done on the 30th of September. Burgundian rebels, no! What? They should rebel exploit naval invade you. Oh, that would be so fucked up. Uh, Spud, what's the plan? Spiorbians and who try to do that in the deck? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 it's happening. Yeah, mobilize. Yeah, they're gonna do it instantly. What's happening? What's the, what's the next war? I don't see that many Asians around here like there used to be, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have an easier time. Whoa! Whoa! You, you don't need me in this war, do you? you? This neighborhood's different? I don't know. Probably not. No, I'm okay. Lizard, lizard, can we talk? Chrono! 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 Can we talk? Sure, whatever, that's gonna happen. I have to re anyway, so I can hold on. Pretty rage quit? No, well. just connected. Zombie, can you do some normal sense making Diplo on the PLC? Like not joining against me again? <laughs> I have I have no idea what Diplo is like, to be honest. Like all I can figure out is that they're probably enemies with Russia. That's that's it. 
But they've been prioritizing being an enemy of me over Russia. If you can ally, mm. if you give me all your land, you can ally me. <laughs> and I collected gas attacks so hard my like internet cut out. So it's the virtual rock PLC. I'd help. Nancy wants to 1v1 you. And I think it's Onus, because the Asians aren't helping him. In. I would 1v1 him, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh God, the I'm importance playing. of being earnest. My favorite gun in Black Ops 3, though, is definitely the Weevil. <laughs> it's so real. Uh, oh, I remember when no, I, no relation. No relation. I saw a video of it, like, because it, it's been like five years or something since I played it, right? And I saw a video, I was like, what the fuck, that gun is called the Weevil? Oh my god. Toy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Welcome to my countdown of top 10 guns in Black Ops 3. Number one, the Weevil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that thing just like, like a glorified two. P90? It's, it, it, should, it should be called yeah. a big. You should, you should make a mod that's called the Big Weevil and Pack a Punch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Weevil. You pack a punch. It becomes the Big Weevil. <laughs> Turns into an LMG. Apparently, okay. apparently, India won't be joining. Ah, what a shame. Well, the the, the Indian guy was he a sub or like an actual perm? No, he was the user player. Term. Oh my god, so I have, okay, so I'm a completely new player, I guess. Million he's, he's he's Did he rage quit? <laughs> I thought he just there. said he just said I don't want to play this and just left. And I <laughs> PLC couldn't he had to go for like last hour. But oh, the other wait. guy just said I don't want to play this anymore, and just left. Hug boxes everyone around him, fights a war half the world away, just stands his army still trying to separate yeah. surrender, gets it stack wiped, claims the game I'm is gonna, boring. Gonna... India left. Oh India. <laughs> So I, I guess I'll dual box it until someone can play it. Number two, mm -hmm. great power. Game's boring. I'm leaving. <laughs> he lost a communist and his comedy just collapsed apparently. He was like a grumpy him. monkey. That's what happens when you have all that power and you don't use it for anything. You just get bored. Yeah. No one I mean, have all that power. I mean, that's just oh, retarded. Oh no, Google guys. I, I didn't want to invade any of my neighbors. Game boring. Crazy. Just go get half your army stack wiped in the Albions and then... Hi, easy. Ottomans! Can I get that province in a transfer? That's so rough. true, Evil, so true. Let's right. white piece. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah sorry, I was doing a bit of a troll, man. I'm sorry, man. I know. We can be allies after this. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. We're gonna deck on him again, so... For real, for real. Let's be friends. I cannot believe you got the fucking no sand truck, Chrono. I hate uh, truce blocks, man. I hate the fucking nation. It, it shouldn't exist. Here's the thing, right? Para was gonna give <laughs> all of his colonies to New Centaur so he could form his map, and I saw no reason not to just... Uh, I know. sent you the white piece, Chrono. Batavia's been invaded by New Sinatra, what, five times now? Yeah, I just, there he goes, I just, and now he's gone. Again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chrono, just... you were the Burgundian psycho? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, just, I decided to just go ahead with a deal and... You're the uh... Burgundian psycho, man. My god. Psycho? Psycho, you know? I love cycling, I love cycling. I can't wait to watch the Albions die. Again. I mean, it's yeah. a 1v1, so yeah. Don't be so sure about it. Don't be so sure. Me 1v1ing him will unironically be harder than when his entire alliance joins. <laughs> you don't have the skill issues of the Polish and the Chinese. Yeah, you can't yeah. Lie. Ouch, man. Come on. Why are there Chinese still in fucking. I can't believe it's hey, a man, whole it's new... a green forest country. Like, you didn't even, like, commit with most of your army. What, what do you think was going to happen? Yeah, the Asian hug box has collapsed. All it took was a gust of wind. A gust of wind or a little breath of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Are we finally fighting wars that make sense? Uh, you won. <laughs> <laughs> Good more time. I know, it's crazy. I mean, I don't think PLC has a realistic chance of winning any 1v1, but I'll just uh, play it. Bruno, why did you build brigades, man? I thought we were going to have your zero brigades. Nah, dude. Look, I know Batavia can form the funny map if he takes the Netherlands. I was willing to death war that. Okay? Yeah, They're I know. not funny. Like, we have England. Let's just have the hey, Netherlands as well. There's no way you're going to be able to keep up all those uh, naval invasions. I love how funny my nation is. I like how fucking Rhodesia <laughs> has like two million pops, what the fuck? If you look at Sierra Leone, that's pretty cool too. Can somebody tell Green Force he's a retard? Because he gives me this stupid nation and why gives me stupid why don't you, diplo. Why don't you do it yourself? Sure, yeah. I could. You should deck sooner rather than later. He has a truce um, for another month. Oh, okay. Yeah, lizard idiot. Lizard on Italy. What a Russia. fucking idiot. Get yeah, out of the lobby.
so many troops in Albion. Albion. Just so you know. Where do I have troops? In Albion. <laughs> it's just like I do? Up. Okay. Where? <laughs> I, I, dude, yeah, I can't um, keep track of these anymore. Just delete them and rebuild them in China. What is the probability to get cast? <laughs> I mean, China? honestly, it's <laughs> probably quicker. That's 100%, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I got slow beans. Amazing. Yeah, I, I hate guess. Green force. Yeah, I hate green force. Yeah. The reason that Scandinavia, Burgundy and England lost this war, even though they looked very strong on paper, was of course because England and Scandinavia had massive portions of their army stationed in Asia. As they said, their original plan was to wait until they brought a lot of those troops back before they launched the war. But the dual monarchy and his allies launched it first, and therefore had a big initiative and advantage, which carried them to a very convincing victory. They got that victory despite having a little blip in the early phase of the war, where they got counter-encircled when attempting to encircle the first battles. In order to get this encirclement, they would have to attack Lille and these two additional provinces to avoid counter-encirclement. They definitely had enough troops to attack these three provinces, they just didn't realise. I didn't fully advise them on this because I was trying to stay as neutral as I could, because I'm making deals with Burgundy and Scandinavia but I couldn't resist at least trying to point them in the right direction by whispering the possibility of an encirclement. It's painful to let a good encirclement opportunity go to waste. The three of them collectively should have realised what they really had to do. There was a rehost soon after that war ended, which means I have a save to look at, which is bad news for Scandinavia and England because I can see where their armies were. England has a couple hundred thousand men still on Taiwan, but he also had 40 brigades back in Bjornia on rebel hunt. So the narrative that this was only down to their Asian conquests and the ADF is falling apart before our very eyes. Scandi has loads of troops in Japan. But here's the kicker, he also has huge amounts of troops in Africa. It makes sense because this is Scandinavia's prized possession. And he also has Batavia as his fearling down south, who he will later defend against another Nusantaran invasion but really there's no reason to have a massive army here. Also, Italy owning the Suez Canal could have a big effect here. I don't think this came into play much or was mentioned, but it's really bad for Scandinavia and England being in the ADF, having to switch between Europe and Asia a lot, and having the Suez Canal being owned by an enemy. In the peace deal of the war, which lasted from 1895 to 1897, Spain finally connected his ports in Africa, why did Scandinavia actually give up colonies when he didn't really need to? Why didn't Burgundy separately surrender and have the rest of the war continue as a naval blockade war, where Scandinavia would still dominate because the Mediterranean Alliance doesn't have their navy up and running yet? Well, the reason is because Scandinavia just wants to get this over with. He clearly doesn't care about Burgundy all that much, or what he perceives as useless desert over here. The better parts of Africa for him are down south and he's not parting with them. His focus is on the next Asian war against Japan. He doesn't really want to be enemies with Spain and Italy, who he's kind of appeasing by giving away this land, and to an extent Italy and Spain did a successful guilt tripping operation over how much of Africa Scandi got. Remember, Scandinavia's original plan for this European war was just a partition of the dual monarchy between Burgundy and England. The person they saw as most likely to help the dual monarchy was me, hence why they made the deal for the Rhineland. That's very important, and that's how the diplomacy all comes together here. The Italian and Spanish intervention was unexpected. Scandinavia's response was to just let them have Burgundy and let them have a bit of Africa, appease them, while his primary focus is still Asia. They want to go in on Japan again immediately off the truce, which ends halfway through 1900. So anyway, this also happened. Batavia, aided by his close ally and sphere lord Scandinavia, went in to try and get the Netherlands off of Burgundy. So much for Asia being his top priority. Their naval landings were a complete and utter failure, so I'll take the opportunity to explain how to do this properly. The Netherlands region is one of the most susceptible to naval invasions, and it can be very important in great wars late game. And not just in divergences of darkness, of course. 
In a naval invasion, you don't just want to blindly land troops on the land and hope for the best. The objective is to secure a foothold and secure at least one province that the enemy cannot reach anymore, to form a new front line that you can fight in and reinforce and send more troops. There are three vulnerable spots in Burgundy's current borders, two of which Scandinavia and Batavia tried to land in in this war. The provinces circled in green can be secured from the sea and encircled without Burgundy being able to reinforce them from his main land. The provinces crossed with red are the provinces that the naval invaders need to attack to carry out that encirclement and secure the green provinces. You probably can't do all three at the same time, so let's just zoom in on the Amsterdam example. Which, if this is a vanilla world with the Netherlands, is particularly devastating because it's its capital. The naval invaders have to launch attacks into all three provinces. The objective is to encircle and wipe the troops that are defending Amsterdam and then occupy it so that you can then use it to cycle as well as ship troops instantly instead of having to continue to naval land troops in the two battles. The two frontline battles will be extremely difficult for the invaders before you secure the safe province behind it. That's why you have to take an inordinate amount of transports and send loads of troops, hundreds of K. A lot more than what Batavia and Scandi actually sent. They would have been able to send more if they got England to join their side, but Nusantara truce blocked England, which they were complaining about at the time. If you don't have enough troops... Don't try it! And you know the rest. Batavia and Scandinavia completely messed this up. They didn't send enough troops, they didn't try to occupy the safe provinces, and Scandinavia didn't even have enough transports to save his men. A lot of them got wiped by men who he was fighting alongside in the first war in this video. A senseless tragedy, another backstab of Burgundy, all because Scandinavia wanted to create another former exiled European nation. But it didn't happen because Burgundy fought for his life and fought well and held off this invasion. Some people in this Burgundy's position would have welcomed the Batavian takeover just to end their suffering. By the way, before the invasion of Burgundy started, Scandinavia transferred three of his African colonies around here to Batavia with a total population of about 200k. Batavia can make much better use of these as connected ports and his colonial migration can focus there whereas Scandinavians have a lot of places to colonially migrate to. While we're down here we have to look at the Indian colony of My Sharona land, which on account of being one of India's only colonial regions and getting all the colonial migration that that massive country has to offer, has risen to a population of 2 million. Batavia's population by the way in 1900 is 2.1 million. This was originally a gift from Scandinavia, who was cozying up to the Asian hug box, but that was before they started their mad interventions in Europe, which caused outrage and led to the formation of the ADF. India coveted it because there's an iron province in it, and there's a shortage of such industrial RGOs on the Asian mainland. At this point, Scandinavia and Batavia are just letting India keep it to keep building up the pops, and then at some point Batavia will get it. I'm going to show you the population stats of Europe, but first let's look at the navies in Europe. Around the end of this episode, in the year 1900, Spain has his 50 cruisers and he's upgrading its ports to level 5, the technology for that released in 1895. Scandinavia has about 90 cruisers and he's building a lot more, having already gotten level 5 ports across the board. It's an uphill struggle for Spain to reach parity with Scandinavia, but when he finally develops he has the potential for more cord or connected ports. Scandi has a lot more unconnected ports which add up to give him a lot more naval power than Spain, but I'm not counting all those. And also, Italy has about 40 cruisers and building more. So it's late in the campaign, but there's finally an interesting naval arms race and competition going on between two rival European blocs. Scandinavia, of course, has England on his side and they should have a great navy as England, right? Now here are the European populations in 1900, taking into account the 3v3 European war and the Rhineland transfer, of course. I haven't shown the total pops in Europe for a while, so this also includes the last couple of major wars. The population difference between myself and the Albion Confederation is now about 5 million. The writing's on the wall. There was another time that the difference between our populations was 5 million. Back 25 years ago in 1875, in part 13 when England came home. We've come a long way since then as well. The hug box is over. Apart from a stack here or there that he forgot to remove, China has left. The Indians got destroyed by General de Coping and never came back. 
player quit a short time after that as you just heard. The Ottomans is staying out, Poland Lithuania is going to fight a 1v1 against Russia. The big enemy alliance that I've been facing for decades is no more and the only thing standing between me and forming Germany is what's left of the Elbian Confederation and he's going to put up a fight. Thank you so much everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already then please give the video a like and subscribe. Consider joining the membership today, it's a great way to support the channel and you get some nice emotes you can use in the comments. You also get a bonus role on my discord if you integrate your accounts, and I occasionally do member only community posts where we gossip about all the riffraff that haven't got channel memberships. Remember to tune into some streams on YouTube, join my Discord and of course Patreon is still there where you can get access to bonus clips from this series. In the future I'm considering opening up the bonus clips to channel members as well, but I'm not going to make that change within this series. Anyway, thank you so much everyone, see you in the next video, bye. GG, that was fun, see you guys next week. I'm assuming I don't blow my brains out, which I might.